In this video, I'll explain the use of one cancels other or OCO orders. I'll show you how advanced trade management incorporates OCO orders and how to pair OCO orders manually for breakout strategies. OCO is a conditional order type which includes two orders. Order if one order fills, the other is automatically canceled. OCOs are frequently used to protect or bracket a position with a pair of interconnected stop loss and profit target orders. While this functionality is automatically applied with ATM strategies, it can be done manually to take a position when price breaks out of a perceived support or resistance level to either lower or higher Target prices. Build. To configure entry orders for a breakout strategy, I'll right click on the chart trader panel and enable OCO. Notice the green OC icon appears in the top right corner, indicating that OCO is enabled. This feature is available in all popular NinjaTrader order entry windows. Next, I'll place two entry orders, one to go long if the price breaks upward, and one to go short if the price breaks downward. For my long order, I'll use a buy stop market order, order submitted. And for my short order, I'll use a sell stop market order, order submitted. Last, right click and disable OCO. It's important to only place two orders while OCO is enabled, and also to disable OCO after placing the pair of orders. With NinjaTrader's flexible order entry interfaces, these orders can be adjusted as long as they remain active by clicking on the order, moving the cursor to a new price level, and clicking once more. You can even attach your OCO orders to indicator values for a more dynamic breakout strategy. Selecting a channel based indicator, such as the Keltner channel, Bollinger bands, or volume weighted average price, provides multiple plots above and below price action to attach orders. Thanks for watching! Be sure to check out more of our videos for quick tips to help you get started with NinjaTrader.